Hey everybody, welcome back to the Slime Fun Tutorial here on the channel. I am your host Boomer and today I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am to bring you this tips and track. The, probably currently the most common question that I get is how do I expand networks beyond 2,000 nodes in, in a network? Well, and you can't, right? If that's what your server owner has set it to, you can't. Or can you? That's right, Boomer has found a way to turn a 2,000 node network unit into an 8,000 network, sort of. Let's show you what I'm talking about. What I've really done here is set up four networks in one. Now, just for this example, I've used 72 storage units and there are four networks. So this is equivalent of having 288 storage units, although there's really only 72. It's the equivalent of having four 2,000 node networks with a bunch of items shared in a common space. So just to show and prove to you that each one of these are singular and connected properly, there's 72 there. You'll see my controllers are not popping off. There's 72. There's another 72. And one more time, 72. You can go back and play the video just to confirm they're all different. If they were on one network, those network controllers would be popping off and they wouldn't be staying. So here's how this works. Start with any number in a row that you want. I think the minimum you need to do is five, but realistically, this is scalable and tileable. All you have to do is leave enough room to execute this corner, right? Because what you need is to be able to get one bridge on the back side of the nodes or of the, of the storage units. So in all four corners, you need one. That's why I have three dark prism here, just to show that. The outside, you use five bridges, the top, in the bottom, we we'll use three, and the inside uses one. So how do I connect these two rows to begin with? So on the outside, let's see, okay. So what I did in one corner of the outside row is I used network bridges to connect the top and the bottom. And then all I did here, these are actually just plain white glass just to make it look consistent. On the inside row, this was probably the easy one. I simply grabbed bridges from the inside, brought it down, carried it out. This is the one that bums me a little bit, is the only way to connect the top is you do have to kind of go over one, come out, same thing here, go over and come out, and then it goes out. And then the bottom rows, again, are connected same way. And again, if you look, the bridges are what connects it all the way around. Networks does not connect diagonally. I think we've proven that beyond, well, any shadow of any doubt that diagonal connections in networks do not exist. Uh, otherwise, all of my controllers would be popping off right now. So, again, this is the same thing as having four different networks. Because think about what you would have to do. To have all 72 of these items, you'd either have to take them one at a time and put monitors on four different sides. You'd have to use a wireless item transport. You'd have to use cargo or something, some weird janky setup. I made it very clear, very simple, and, and like I said, scalable and tieable. So you can make this... 29 storage units on each side. You can make it 99 storage units on each side. You can make it as big or as small as you want, and you can stack it as high as you want up to the limit of whatever you need to go, whatever the server limit is. So the nice thing about this, now granted, okay, there's, let's see, 36 monitors, 72, 288 monitors. So 288 against my limit of 2,000. But here's the thing. I've just gained 864 nodes because it's the same ones on all four networks. So now, instead of having, remember there's 864 nodes, instead of having only 1,136 left, I now have 1,700 on each one of my networks. And I have all these items in one tiny little place available on every single network. So now if I want to, let's say, make uh, reinforced alloy ingots, Okay, great, I take a smeltery, I set it up. Let's say I do it on this network, all four networks. If, the, if those ingots are stored in one of these storage units, all four networks now have reinforced alloy ingots at their disposal. If I set up Damascus steel on one of these and it's stored in here, anything stored in here is now available on all four networks. So maybe one network is dust and ingot production, one is alloy production, right? One is the, the infinity side, right? The supreme side. And then the other one, you know, it could be anything. You've got any number of possibilities here. 
and now if you wanted to pass networks again guess what you could do you <laughs> this is where it gets really cool you could connect stacked sets of four networks at a time this is where this gets insanely cool let's say i'm filling all this up and i get to around 1600 right and i need to pass those items into another network i could do the exact same thing and pass them on just connect one of them and pass on four more just by building another one of these you know if, if i got all these things built up i could just do another one over here you can so easily minimize the impact on the server by just cutting down the number of storage units that you need we're still using roughly the same number of nodes but we're cutting the storage units down by 75 percent and we're not having to use cargo or anything else to move the items back and forth so again scalable tileable 100 percent efficient effective and awesome guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and don't forget when you're playing slime fun you, you, now you can go boomer we'll see you later <laughs>